Hello and welcome to Provis Gaming and more EU4 Mori Nostrum playing as Italy. Let's resume the Regency Council on the putting down of the rebellions and stuff. Hmm. We do not need military access. I forgot to cancel again, didn't I? Yep. Still, it has not taken up too many relationship slots, so I haven't really lost anything, but... Yeah, we should definitely get rid of that. There we go. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. No, Castile, you may not marry me. I will have you know that I'm a respectable young lady, and I am saving myself for my one true love. Salzburg broke their alliance with Naples. Good to know. Naples, how you looking? Desmond, which is in Ireland. How is Naples allied to Muscovy? Ah, oh, crud. It's gonna be a lot harder to take Naples when they're like that. Who are you? You're excommunicated. If I didn't have a Regency Council right now, I would declare war on them so that Muscovy couldn't join. But take a look at that. I can't. It's not allowed. Because, you know, Regency Councils. A few years to go on that. We should spend some money. Upgrading some buildings. Anything good for the temples? Not really. Nope. Alright, production. I know, my production values are atrocious. I don't really see anything, though. No. No. Uh, Trade Depot. Where's the, um... This one. It's a Nile Estuary. You already have a marketplace. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. I would hand you off to the burgers if I could, but I can't. I would love to make some more states, but it is far more important to me that we get the next level of admin tech so that I can upgrade. We can't spy on Salzburg anymore. Who else can give us a tech reduction? The Papal State can. Sounds good. Let's spy on them. <laughs> Allied to Catalonia and Genoa. Genoa way up here, Genoa. The next person I should kill, actually, should be the Papal State. Because my terrible relations with them is what's kind of reducing my ability to get anything from the Holy See. And if I just kill them and full annex them, I'm pretty sure a nation in Germany will get pressure to give them a territory so a new Papal State can form. And I think that uh, resets their opinion of me. Pretty sure. How's the coalition looking? Oh, wait. Okay, they did fire in the mountains. I am very glad that I got there when I did. How are we looking? Are we going to win? They rolled a 1. They rolled an 8. That's not... Op wow. Can you stop sucking so bad, please? Ah, we'll sit here. I don't think it's going to matter. We'll kill him. Uh, royal marriage with France ended. You already do have an heir, though, unfortunately. Well, you're probably going to offer a royal marriage to me pretty soon, and I'll gladly take it. <laughs> Let's go back down to Nice. Even if it looks like nice. Piedmont is done. Freaking Center of Reformation is gone. Nice. Okay, now we can actually start converting stuff and it'll matter. About dang time, man. Alright, how are we looking in Piedmont? It's a little bit of unrest, but it's not too bad. Karamanese is a problem. Genoa's the next major threat. I already have people here. Reforms in Piedmont will go away, probably get replaced by something. Not too worried about it, though. Hmm. Go to Tyrol, please. Let's put down these Austrian Separatists before they can do anything. At this point, we're actually in pretty good shape. We really should consider just putting down Rebellions more than anything else. So the Ferrarans, for example, let's go put them down real quick. Milanese. I'm going to split the armies and go put both of those down simultaneously so we don't have anything to worry about there. 
Urbino is another one. I'd like to get rid of you. So, we'll split you and send six this way. This is the main problem right now here. This is technically better. I like fire value, but three shock pips is better than one more fire pip. The Commonwealth, it looks like, has decided to kill Theodoro. I'm sorry, man. That's how it works. Except a piece with Bremen. Not sure how that happened. Alright, so Ferrara is going away. Austria is going away. Urbino and Milanese are both gone. Well, Urbino is about to go away. Never mind. Savoy is still here. Let's go ahead and split up some troops and put that down again. There we go. So we just have Karaman and Genoa. And that's it. Well, wait, there's one more. No, that's it. Yeah, that is all of the rebels. Okay. And reform should automatically go away as well. Very nice. So we seem to have stabilized our realm pretty well. Uh, we are not making enough Diplo power, it occurs to me. Because, you know, terrible, terrible Regency Councils and all that. I'm going to hire the Diplo rep guy. That should stave off what we are bleeding off right now and give me a chance of getting some free stability. Yeah, it costs some money, I know. It's okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to run out of Diplo power. I could focus on Diplo. I'd rather not... I'd really rather not, since we're this close. I think we're just going to have to accept that we have a deficit for a while. That sucks. Oh well. We're doing the best we can. Tarascon! Doomsday! Are you scared yet? You should be. Commonwealth! Interesting. The Commonwealth did not take Theodoro. Hey! you doing here? They're at war still with just Estonia. That's it. Well, the Commonwealth's not going to grow a lot bigger out of that war. Just one territory. It's not a big deal, right? And Novgorod's marching back up. Okay. Hmm. Slow annexation, guys. Slow annexation. How much do I need for you? 30. Slamson, I don't think I can fabricate anything else from you, can I? Nope. I don't need a spy network with you, never mind. Let's build one on Tunis. I would love to take actual Tunisia, that'd be great. It is, after all, a coastal center of trade. More power in Genoa means more money. This is one of the great things about being Italy. Grants is you can only have one trade port, so it can only have it in one of these two end nodes here. But if you have another merchant, hey, no problem. You can collect off of two end nodes simultaneously. That's a lot of money. An absolute crap ton of money. If played right, I think Italy is one of the most powerful nations in the game. I mean, we proved that Russia can be OP as heck too, but... Still. I think we are going to be just fine. It's mostly a matter of surviving the Commonwealth... And then what the heck are we going to do about France? If I can't get of their uh, same dynasty, it's going to be really, really, really hard to deal with them. It is. It really, really is. Let's convert Nice. That'll increase their unrest. Make it more likely for them to fire, so I don't have to waste my time sitting here any longer. Neapolitan. Abruzzi. Abruzzi. Luca. Oh, we can finally get the tech. Nice. Done. And we'll go ahead and take aristocratic ideas right away. So we have cavalry costs and combat ability is okay. Income from vassals, hostile core creation is annoying but not important. Manpower is okay. Uh, Army and Navy traditions, uh, meh. Diplomat's okay. Not relevant. Tech cost reduction is good. All of this, kind of meh, honestly. Aristocratic's not that good. But, it would allow me to form a republic again. And it'll allow us to get a policy that will give us an absolute crud ton 
of uh, Republican tradition, which just translates into a lot more monarch points. I'm honestly convinced. I, I, I've never played as a Republic before today. Well, not today, but this playthrough. I like them. I think Republics are actually shockingly good. Shockingly. Let's make sure these guys all get put down. I don't really feel like dealing with you. There's Genoa. Hello! Goodbye! Alright, that's the end of that. So... Anything we want to do to help out Muscovy? Siege down Helra and Verden? Sure. Can I get here? No. Um, France. I need military access, please. Uh, hang on. Let me, get a, let me get a claim real quick. On... This one. There. Let's get military access. And then we'll get it through Liege. People are leaving the coalition. That's a very good sign. Start marching the troops up this direction. Do I have anybody with siege value? I do. We'll take this guy instead. And then Liege. Military access, please. Thank you. And now we'll go kill Helra. I got two forts. That's worth some war score. That should help you out, Muscovy. Right? I want a strong Muscovy. Muscovy is not really going to be a threat to me for pretty much the entirety of this game. So I'd like him to be good and strong. I'm going to switch to a focus on uh, military power. So we can get through the aristocratic idea group faster. Admin would still have been a viable choice. So that I could uh, get states faster. Arguably in the short term better. But I'm impatient and I want to get the uh, aristocratic ideas done. Oh. Hello. I didn't even realize you were here. How you doing, Helra? You want to dance? Smugglers running rampant. Lose money. No. I would rather lose... Well, let's see. That's ten years. Ten years of less taxes and less trade. Ten years, huh? Well, even if you assume that I lose, like, let's say, eight ducats a month, that's 960 ducats. It might be better to stop them now. But then I would have to take a loan, which I'm not okay with. Let's run this event as close to the timer as possible, get some money up, and then we'll buy it down. Holy crap! Helra is surprisingly giving me a run for my money. There. Okay, where are you going? I don't know. Go up this direction. We'll catch him. Yeah, let's wait a couple months. Get some money. And then I'll stop them. Battle of Breda. Stack wipe the cannon. That's fun. That means Jin has left the coalition. Good, good. Can I do both? No. Alright, we'll just keep the armies together until they reinforce for a bit. Uh, and that's the end of the war. Okay. Done. Done deal. I helped. I got I got uh, point one prestige. Novgorod will get. That's how you ended the war, really. You didn't conquer anything. All you did was get war reps. What's wrong, Muscovy? You got three favors though. Why are you? What's wrong? I don't even know. All right, five hundred and thirty ducats. That is enough. You don't have to take a loan anymore. Internal conflicts in Tunis. If only I didn't have a Regency Council, I would jump on that opportunity. Karaman is not going anywhere fast. You just lost a war. Amazingly, you have just enough prestige to reform the Trade League. I am distressed by this information. Papal State, I really don't see any reason to spy on you anymore. Because I don't need a tech cost reduction anymore. Instead, we're going to improve relations with you. Try to get some more papal influence. You will also build more spy network against the Ottomans. These are all the claims that we've got. 
So, people, I want you all to understand, I want all of Tunis. I also want, like, all of Tlemcen. Or at least all of this. There. Is that, is that acceptable to you? Uh, let's not claim this and upset Yemen anymore. I mean, this all seems acceptable to me. I definitely want Ween. That is a necessity if I want to form the Roman Empire. I'm not going to upset France by claiming this either. Probably shouldn't be upsetting Ravensburg either. I'll say I want all of Switzerland, though. There we go. Okay. Naples left the military coalition. Good. How's that coalition looking? It's Hungary, Austria, Salzburg, and Bar. And the Papal State. And that is all. No problem. We could easily handle that. If I didn't have a Regency Council, I'd consider just declaring war right now and fighting you all. Say screw you all. Have fun. Bohemia, I need you to get into like another war or something. So that I can attack your emperor, empire without you uh, getting upset at me. That'd be good. I have military access through the edge still. Let's cancel that. Cancel. Thank you. Perfect. Didn't lose any progress. Ottomans are claiming stuff. I don't care. The Ottomans can claim whatever they want. It's irrelevant to me. I am God. And take whatever I want, dang it. The com- Oh, God. The Commonwealth of the Papal Controller. Now, that is a scary thought. Don't excommunicate me, please. Don't do it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't. We can reduce our army maintenance for a bit. Make uh, about 40 ducats a month. 41. We got a little time before these guys can become dangerous to us. If they get up to 80, then I'll possibly pop it. Maybe 90. Switzerland arrival. They have started to become westernized. Let's back away for a bit, because that's not... We don't need to keep an army here. Once you reduce our army maintenance, they no longer are suppressing the rebels. Or at least very, very minorly. So, since we're already not doing anything, let's not put them in a risky position. Let's just back them off. doop 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 doo Ottomans were trying to do some shenanigans. An alliance offer from Sweden. Hello, Sweden. You don't like Novgorod or Denmark? Huh. You know, you could also be a fun ally. You're too far away to be useful to me, though. Which is a sad thing, because I wouldn't mind for once being allied to somebody and not killing them. If I did this, it'd be more a defensive alliance than anything else. Make sure that no one wants to attack me. The Commonwealth included. I could use them against the Commonwealth conceivably, someday. The problem is, Sweden and Muscovy typically become enemies as soon as Novgorod is dead. So, odds are pretty good. If I did take that, eventually I'd have to choose between one or the other. Or maybe one of them would break it off with me and I would have no control. And that would be unfortunate. So I'll pass on that, but thank you very kindly for the offer. I do appreciate it, sir. I do appreciate it indeed. Uh, another king has died in France. Wow, you're going through them pretty quick. You have a regency council. Yeah, uh, well, we need a royal marry you. Like, now. Okay. Thank you. And you left the coalition. Very smart. Or not so smart, depending on how you look at it, because I'm going to kill you now. So, France. If you have the same dynasty as Provence, really? Well, now I really want to vassalize Provence. How cool would it be if they got a personal union with France? No, nah, they can't do that if they're a vassal, I think. Right now, it looks to me like Genoa, or is that Trier? No, that's Genoa. Genoa would succeed to the throne of France if they die right now. Which is, uh, hilarious. Or Ravensburg would succeed. 
But I have a regency right now, so I can't succeed to the throne. Hmm. I'm a year older than you. There goes Bar. There's nothing we can do about it, but I really am holding out hope that eventually we will actually get a personal union with France. That would simplify my life so dang much. The odds of it are pretty low, but a guy can dream, okay? A guy can dream. Let's see, can we claim anything else against you? We can. There's Tunis. Perfect. Alright. Well, I believe that is the end of our time for today, so thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And I will see you guys next time.